He did a phenomenal job today. He was pitching really well. He was efficient in getting to that inning, um, commanding all his stuff. Uh, fastball was good. So, absolutely. Um, he did a terrific job today. In the seven there. Two on, no outs. It's clear you want the ground ball, so obviously go to Palante. But from your perspective, how do the conversations go to make sure he is cleared to go back to back when he was dealing with fatigue earlier? Uh, yeah, he actually felt really good today um, leading into that game. Um, gave him that extra day. Uh, not yesterday, the day before, leading into using him yesterday. But uh, yeah, we wouldn't have thrown him out there unless he was absolutely 100%. Is the key part there that there's runners on base and the three lefties on the ball coming up? Or? Correct, yeah, just uh, guys on base. Uh, highest percent of getting the ground ball there is Palante. He's done a really nice job of doing that. Um, otherwise, yeah, Jack could keep going. Are you seeing anything with Palante? Yeah, the cutter. Um, not being able to locate it as well as he normally does, and then uh, the curveball just uh, just spun there. Um, unfortunately, a bad time for it, but it happens. But mostly just uh, being able to get that into the lefty as well as he usually does. What was your plan with, with Flaherty going into the seventh? Were you wanting to get to have a quick hook, or were you watching him? No, not at all. It's just pitches. yeah, uh, not a quick hook at all. It's a matter of. With the pitch clock, it's, it takes some of these guys a little longer in the pen, and you want to make sure that they have enough time to get ready because um, it does happen quickly. Uh, unlike without the pitch clock last year, you can you can buy time. You can go out to the mound. You can kill some time. Now you have to give them enough time to get ready, so you get Palante moving just in case uh, of a scenario like what happened. You had a, a homer double walk happen pretty quick. So that's basically it. Are you seeing any, uh, any changes that Wilson has played the last few days? Is just normalizing for you guys? Um, no, I think he's uh, seen it a little deeper. Um, when he's good, he's able to do what he did today and just kind of stays on the ball uh, backside. Um, but those are some really, really good swings there today. Um, I feel like he's on track. You see some of that, too, in the energy he gets after it, the throw out, the steal of third. It's like he made feel like yeah, this, is a, this is a guy that likes to perform. Um, he likes the crowd. He likes the energy. He likes the overall emotional side of the game. So being able to throw out a runner early against a team that does a really nice job on the bases was important for him. And then uh, if he watches that bass, they're just continuing to get better and better. So. Yeah. Um, he definitely did, and he's continuing to get pitches, uh, the close ones that before he wasn't getting. So he did a really nice job.